Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. We are just fast forwarding time at the moment to skip through to the end of the day and then we will possibly have some grain to harvest tomorrow. I don't think we will, we'll probably end up having to wait another day before the grain is ready to harvest. So while we wait for time to tick on by, I just want to very quickly show you the new DLC that I have been very generously provided with by Giants. We've got Vicon machinery in here. Uh, so it's that one there. That So you've got a set of mowers there. You've got the um, rake right there. This one does actually look quite cool. It's quite a big reach on it. It's 12.5 meters that you've got on there. Brands, you can have the Andex 1304, you can have the Cavernland, you've got the choice of, choice between two, the Vicon or the Cavernland colours on it. Um, it does actually look quite good, I've not tried that one out yet, so I don't know what it's like. This one here, I have actually gone and experimented with this one, it is a continual feed round baler, which is absolutely brilliant. Again, you've got Cavernland, Vicon options for this one. Um... Absolutely fantastic. I am thrilled to bits. We've got a continuous feed round baler and it's got the wrapper on the back so it will wrap grass if you're putting that through. If you're doing hay or straw, obviously it won't wrap it. It will just dump it out on the ground. You've got some foil colours there, the basic ones. Um, your wheel brands right in there. So this one here, I, I really like this one. This is actually a really good baler. It does cost a bit. It's $110,000. And our farm over here is kitted out for square bales. Uh, we, we, we do square bales here. I mean, yes, I don't actually have a bale collector. I just run around and get them on a trailer. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that's enough. And then we've got the mowers here. There are 10.2 meter reach on them. And they've got the swather option that you can add to it as well. So you can have the Vario right there, or you can have the swathing option, which is a belt that puts everything into the middle on the back of the mower. And I haven't tried this one out, but I like the look of it. So I'm thinking that this uh, whole pack will be featured quite a bit. I will want to be using this in my next series. I, I quite like the look of these. Um, with, with our contracting stuff. It could be useful for contracting stuff, but also for our own land. Um, we'd be able to up the ante with a bit of grass production there, I should think, with some mowers like that and the big rakes and stuff. I'm, I'm not quite sure yet, but that's, that's kind of what I was thinking. So you got the Vicon stuff there, and then Cavernland was the other bit of the DLC that they were releasing. In here, we've got the new cavernan stuff so you've got a plow right in there um this one is a fairly standard plow it's also got as an added extra though it's got that bit which does cultivate the land down um which i thought was really cool because i've seen these being used in real life but i've yet to see a decent one working in game so i quite like that feature there i think that's quite good um then we've got a cultivator right here Got a second cultivator that's bigger on here. I like the attachment on this one. I was looking at that and I, I just like the way that it's laid out on here. I think that does actually look quite good. And then back through this way, you've got a small direct seeder here. Now this one here is actually on a PTO. It's got a power um, like thingy on here. So it's actually, it cultivates the land to start with, and then it seeds it afterwards. So this um, power harrow, power harrow, that's the word I'm looking for. It's got a power harrow on it right there, and I haven't seen very many of those in the game yet. So I, I'm quite pleased to see that one. And then you've got this bit right here. It's got no pieces for it. So it's like a wide power harrow on here, the DF2 NGS. Uh, so that's got to couple up with something. What does that couple up with? Oh, and this one goes on the front. You've got the, the DF2. Um, so you've got a nice wide machine there. That bit right there. Uh, it's got the power harrow setting on it. So it's direct drill option. And it's, what are we? We're looking at a six meter spread on that one. 
And then you've got the front hopper on it over here, which takes all of the different seed. So it does only, it doesn't have a fertilizer, additional fertilizer option, but that is a nice alternative, I think, to the stat, the in-game standard one, uh, which is, what is the in-game standard one? The in-game standard one is the, uh, Vardestad, the, the Vardestad one. Um, you know, the six meter one, the, the first was the one that we're using in this series, actually. Um, and then we've got some bigger direct drills right here. You've got that monster over there at 12 meters um, on a par with the, is it the Amazon? Is the Amazon 12 meters? No, I think the Amazon's actually 15 meters. Uh, and then over here, we've got these uh, planters. Now, I really like the layout of this planter. It's one where you've got transport wheels, so you hook it on sideways. And then when you get into the field, you unhitch that bit and you come around and you hitch it on over here. Um, and then you do your bit in your field, so it doesn't have, it doesn't like fold up like a lot of them, it just, you transport it sideways. Uh, you've also got this one right here. This is quite a big one here, it's got a thousand litre capacity on it. Um, and it's a 12 metre spread. Now, a thousand litres doesn't seem like a great deal, but the planters always seem to have a very low quantity for seed, don't they? So I'm, I'm never quite sure about planters. This is another one that is transported sideways on, but there doesn't appear to be any additional tank that you can hook up with this one. Because if you look on that, you've got the Monopil E-Drive 224. I don't know if that one can be coupled up with that DF2 front hopper. Whether or not that would work, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I haven't experimented with those in-game yet, so I don't really know. Then we've got a sprayer right here. This is a... What are we looking at? We've got an 18-meter sprayer there with an optional extra front tank. You've got a larger sprayer. It was at 18 meter, but you've got 4,600 liter tank rather than the smaller tank capacity on those. And then we've got a... Fertilizer spreader over here with a 24 meter spread on it. The, uh, just fertilizer. I did wonder if maybe it took um, lime as well. And then we've got a trailed mower, 4 meter wide trailed mower, 11 meter hay turner. There is a wrapper on there as well. So that is the DLC. And looking through all of the stuff with the DLC, there is some things that we've seen before that just seem to be fairly basic repeats of um, a lot of existing machinery. Um, but there are some quite nice, unique items on offer in this DLC. I like the layout of these planters. This one in particular, because it's got the bigger hopper on it. Although I don't know how much of that is fertilizer and how much is seed. Um, but I do like the look of those planters. So I'd like to try those out. Um, power harrow option is quite good. If you can hear a load of noise in the background, it's because it started absolutely hoofing it down with rain where I live. And as uh, there's water hammering on the window. So if you if you can hear that, I apologize. The plow with the optional extra bit on it, I, I really like that. If I just sat here through, I have, I've just sat here in the tractor right through the entire night, forgetting that I got it on 120 times speed. All the way through the night, I went right there. And we're at 7 o'clock. Let's slow that down. I mean, we still want to be going fast, but uh, we'll get back to that in a second. Um, I was busy drooling over these machines. But the one that I'm particularly excited about, the one that makes this DLC for me, is that one right there. Is that round baler right there? It's a direct feed round baler. The bale, the, the stuff goes up into the material goes into the first chamber, pre-compression chamber. That squashes it down, does about three quarters of the bale, and then it transfers into that one to finish off while the front one carries on. The tractor is hooked up to this via there's electronic links as well. If you've got small windrows, it will just um, rock along at a fair old pace. If you've got large, thick windrows with a lot of material, it slows everything down. It does slow your tractor down so that the bales can keep working. And it does this in real life as well. So it's, it's quite a realistically made one, and it looks pretty good. And my initial testing of it demonstrated that they haven't made the width of the pickup too 
rigid on the front. It did seem to just reach out a little bit to the sides. Not quite as good as the square baler that I usually like to use, but it wasn't too bad. So I was reasonably pleased with that. So that is the new DLC. I was going to do an extra video, but I didn't actually have time because I was on holiday last week. So I thought I would just show it to you for part of this one. Apologies to those of you who aren't particularly interested in DLC, but that's now done with and we can get on with the rest of the show. I'll see if I can put a little um, thingy, majiggy, um, you know, who's me call it? A, um, why am I just driving? I'm just because I want to take off this bail spike. I'll put up a little subtitle to say when to skip to. Although you probably will have figured that out by now. Um, right, anyway, onwards. We need to get our bucket in over here. You know, I'm just going to leave that going. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Right, we, we, we've, we've gone and spent the night, haven't we? That's, that's, that's what we've done. We've, we've gone and spent the night. So what we need to do first is our milk delivery needs to come in. Now, we got like 28,000 litres of milk over there. So we are daily milk delivery. I don't know what we're going to get for the milk today. I don't know what the price is today, but uh, we have to sell whatever the price is. Um, so today we are getting $830 per thousand litres. I'm pretty sure it was a fair bit higher than that last time, but, um, never mind. We have to take what we can get with milk. We are just given what they decide to throw at us. Whatever pennies they decide to throw at us on the day, that is what we are lumped with. We have no options in that one. So we'll come on in round here like this and go up to the cattle. I'll go in this way. And then we can back up to the gates to start loading the milk. Up round there like that. I went over the side a little bit too sharp there, I think. Um, bring you back down there and then back you up to the milk fill point. One. Let's actually get on to the milk fill point, shall we? It's a problem with the three wheels. If the front axle is the one that's mostly on the ground, you suddenly got a lot less of a turning circle than if the back axle is the one that's on the ground. Um, right, start loading that one up. We'll load, we'll sell all of the milk that we've got. We'll take that away and we will get a few extra thousand. So we're on just under $10,000 at the moment and that's going to boost that up a little bit higher. We've got a harvest ahead of us is mostly now what we're after is money. As mo well, technically, I suppose that's what we're after right from the start. As much money as we can possibly get. But right now, money is an even bigger issue for us, really, isn't it? Like, we, we need money more than ever now. Um, just so that we can start building up our animals, building up more cattle, and starting on the pigs as well. We'll be starting on the pigs fairly soon. We're not far off of being able to get going with those. Um, I'm actually thinking that our next purchase will be with pigs. If I start overloading the milk right there, and we can unload that little lot into there. And while we're doing that, let's go and have a look at our animals. So 218 sheep, we're building up with those. We've got 168 cows. And we're getting another cow every 7 hours and 45 minutes. So they're building up pretty quickly. Um, I do think that pigs is the way forward now, especially as we have daily milk sales coming in. It has been pointed out that I rather erroneously said that it's good that the milk farmers have a regular income with the milk. Um, well, it would be if they were paid enough for their milk. But most milk farmers these days barely break even. Um, milk seems to be either you've got to do it on an absolutely massive industrial scale or just don't bother because it's not really going to work out very well for you. Which is wrong in my opinion. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be done in such a way that it's forcing farmers into... Um, very high industrial scale because it's also sort of pushing um, substandard animal welfare, which I, I, I don't like. But um, let's not get into that just now, shall we? Let's, let's, let's leave that bit. Right. 
I'm going to go a little bit faster now with time. We're going to come back round and get the bucket on so that we can start cleaning up the animals and doing a little bit of tidying. And we're going to just be mooching about doing this today because we need to spend the entire day fast forwarding time. Wait a minute. Let's just check our field. Fruit types, growth. I did, I did all the fertilizer and everything that we need to do. So I, I don't actually, there was a little bit of fertilizer missing at the top. But honestly, I don't think that matters. Um, and if we go there and there, the grass is, I could start doing the grass right now. Except I'm not going to because it takes so much time to do it. And that would mean slowing down and stopping time so that the rest of the stuff could, like we wouldn't have the grass growing through and, and nonsense like that. As I don't want to do that, as I don't want to have any grass growing through, we will just leave the grass as we've been doing, and we will only do it when we're doing other harvest. Um, whether I change that in our next series or not, I don't really know. Uh, we'll play that one by ear, and we'll decide that when we get there. We won't worry about it too much at the moment. Right here, right now, we're definitely not going to be doing it, though, so that's all that really counts just for now. I'll pick that up and then tip it out immediately like that, and then forward a little bit more. I keep doing that, don't I? Just, like, go forward just slightly the wrong level. Right, and we'll tip that out there. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the little tiny extra bits that have just now turned up because there's hardly anything there. And we're going to go up this way. Now, I've got a load of silage that's appearing here. And I am starting to wonder if we should go and get ourselves a little forage wagon to help with this. It might make life a little bit easier, especially as there's so much silage now appearing in front of these cows. They are going to need a huge amount of food to keep them going still, aren't they? There is a lot of food required to keep those cows happy. And we don't really have enough. Well, say we don't have. I think we've got enough here to be able to keep them going. I did bring in a whole load more. But um, gee, let's have a look. Let's have a look and see how we're doing on here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 187,000. I need a huge amount of food and stuff for these cows. Like, I really do. We're, we're making silage for our next crop in the grass field, which should be a little bit faster to do than hay. So hopefully it's... I mean, the only downside to it is potentially we're not going to be able to, like... um. I'm just wondering. Downside to it is like we're, we're doing we're doing we're doing silage. Um, I'm just wondering if we should like change our mowers over so that I can, instead of having to go over it with the mowers and then the rake, we've got mowers that leave it in a windrow. I have been considering that. It does mean that we would have to change things around a bit. We'd have to sell our mowers and then buy a new set of mowers and. That's going to cost us quite a bit of money. And, uh, you know, really, I'm wanting to just keep investing all my money into the animals. I, a big, big time want to be putting the money into the animals and not into anything else. But, you know, we, we, we're sort of looking at it now. And is that really the best option? Just putting the money into the animals? Or should I be thinking to upgrade my machinery a little bit? I mean... It could actually go and get that Vicon round baler because that one is a round baler and wrapper and everything all in one. We've got the mod that adjusts the capacity of the bales. We don't. I haven't done it individually on any um, uh, bale, bale mod or anything like that. We've we've got the variable capacity mod, which basically gives us the eight thousand liter bales. So we could have the new Vicon round baler, but be running it with 8,000 litre bales. The same as what we've been using. It'll be round bales. It's easier to load up the straw blower with round bales than it is square, because you can fit like five or six of them all in there at once, and without it having to like have a really careful tower piling up over the top. That also makes a bit of a difference to everything. Um, 
you know, there are numerous options that we've got, but it all requires money. I mean, I've just now gone through another day. So, I mean, what's what's the wool prices at the moment? Let's have a look at those a second. We want to look in here. Wool is 722. Milk is coming up quite nicely. So in the morning, we'll have a whole load more money for our milk. And we may have some wool that we can sell at the same time. But it's like this bit right here, this this cleaning up the silage like this. We need a bigger bucket. That's what we need. We, de we definitely need a bigger bucket for doing this job. Because this, this is a slow, tedious old task. But I'm wondering if maybe we could go with that Vicon round baler. We could sell the, the square baler that we've got. And get the Vicon. We'll sell the baler and sell the two mowers that we've got. Would that be something that we should do? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's have a look here. Right. Uh, you are absolutely fine. You are absolutely fine. You are very low on food. We're going to need to put some more food in for you soon. Probably tomorrow we can get away with that. So let's just do that a minute. And it is... Right. Well, we got to skip the night now anyway. So if we go and do that, we will rest up for the night right here. We'll get our 11 hours sleep like that. And once we've skipped the night, now we can see about getting this new round baler. You know, dealership was rung up, said they got this fancy new round baler. And maybe we'd be interested, wanting to know. Um, now, we've got a... So we, harvest is ready. We're ready for harvest now. But do we want to get going immediately, or do we want to change this over first? We've got the Lely Splendor Mo, and we've got that one. So if we were to return those two... And the wrapper as well. The wrapper could go back. See, we wouldn't need that one. And that baler. We would then be wanting to buy some new machinery. Now, the new machinery that we would want to buy would be a new baler. And the baler, it goes without saying, the baler would be that one right there. Now, that's $110,000. But you've also got the... It's 8,000, we would use the variable bail thing, so long as it's compatible with it. And that would mean that we'd be able to use the wrapper on the back. All right, if we go here, we go with, I like to have the green foil if we can. We can't have the blue, so we'll go with the green. Um, and we have that one there, $110,000 to go and buy that one. Now, that's great and all, but in order to really make this idea work, we would also be wanting a new mower. Now, ideally, I'd like to get the um, the mod pack one. You've got those there. They're a little bit cheaper, and they do actually have a swathing option on them. The class DLC, the, the, class DLC, the, the platinum pack, but um, I kind of like these. Now, that one's a 10 meter. This is 10.2 meters. So it's ever so slightly wider. So we've got 21,000 on that one. That one's 22,000. I've got that mower there at the moment. Yes. And I got that. Yeah. And I got that one there. So we'd have to sell those. And then we'd want to buy that one and that one. 21,000 and 55,000 to get those. We would definitely want the option on the back. Now, if you remove that bit, it does reduce. Oh, wait. Seriously? 75,000 to have that bit on the back. That's kind of the important bit. We need that. Okay, so that's 75. And that, 21,000 right there. Yeah, we'll go with the Vicon one. No, we'll go, we'll go with Vicon. We'll do Vicon for this, I think. Um, 75, that's 96,000. So we're, we're not going to get any change out of it. We need $200,000. We need to, to be able to do this, we need $200,000. When um, we'd be selling that one, we'd be selling the two mowers, we'd be selling the square bale wrapper at the back. I won't be getting a bale collector, we'll still do it with um, the trailer that we've been using. We'll do that the same way that we have been doing. That, I think, is fine. Now, we wouldn't sell, I was just thinking, could we, we wouldn't sell that one, no, because we're still going to be wanting to make hay, and when we make hay, we'll be wanting to rake it up. So that wouldn't, getting rid of that wouldn't be an option, so we can't sell that. So we are a little bit limited on some of the things that we've got here. Now, cattle are really going to need some 
food soon. But before we worry about the food for the cat, oops, um, we need to go and sell milk for the morning. What are we getting? What is our milk price this morning? We've got 1,007 on wool, 1,127 on milk. That is brilliant. So we're going to slow everything down. We're going to go off and we're going to sell the milk first. That's going to be our first sale. Then we're going to load up the wool pallets and we're going to sell those as well so that we get a little bit of extra cash coming in from that. And then with all the machinery that we've got that we can sell, I'm hoping, in theory, we will have enough to be able to get that new baler. Now, the only downside that I can see to the new baler is that the wrapper is going to be on standard speed for wrapping, which is a lot slower than what we set our wrapper to. I... I um, modified the wrapper that we've got to wrap a lot faster than what the standard in-game one does. And that is going to make a bit of a difference. That will make a difference and that will affect it. So it will slow things down a little bit. But if we're doing 8,000 litre bales, it shouldn't be quite so bad. So we've got 25,000 litres of milk right here. Cattle over this way. We've got 224 sheep now. We've got 171 cows. The... I can never remember how many we get for each. Let's go and have a look in there. So the large cow pasture is 200 cows. And the large sheep pasture is 250. We're, 200, so we're 26 sheep away from full. And we are 29 cows away from full. We're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all there. There is all of the milk for the day. I'm going to take this out. I should be able to swing around this way. The truck should be able to get out around this way. Yes, he can. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. So we can take him out over here. And we can go straight across the bridge. We can sell this. And then we've also got the wool to sell as well. Now, keep in mind that we're not going to be using all of this money to go and buy more animals. We're going to be starting on pigs very soon. No, now we are going to go and do that whole grass thing. So as soon as we've sold everything, it'll be well actually I think we'll be starting the grass thing in our next episode, because I don't know that we're gonna have time to do it today. But we will do our bestest. There is fifty thousand dollars, fifty one, fifty two thousand, fifty three thousand. We got twenty seven thousand nine hundred dollars for that. We had about 3,000 litres less milk, but because demand had gone up, we got a much better price for it. It's a shame we can't keep it for really good price, but we, we can. That's, that's not something that we can do. We have to sell it on the morning, every morning. Um, and if we do, like, uh, that's something I was talking about before, was potentially getting into cattle in a big way in our next series, and... Um, focusing on those a lot but I, I mean I seem to do that quite a bit but a lot of you have said that yeah you know I, 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 I've, I've done the rest of it and not uh, there wasn't there's some interest in doing pigs for a living on this game but most of you don't seem to be particularly interested in having me do pigs for a living you'd rather I did um cattle some of you have said that maybe we could go with sheep but most of you again have said no don't do sheep don't do anything that requires the pallets do do cows because you know there's a little bit more to it and when you start to get the numbers up there's a lot involved with keeping your cows happy so I'm, i kind of like in that idea um we, we'll we'll work with cows and we've also got to have some arable stuff so that we can get straw for the cows because we do need to bed them down properly. I'm, I'm, we're not having any of this nonsense where we're not bedding our cattle down properly. We, we won't be doing that. Now, we're bringing you over here. What are you loading at the moment? You are loading pallets. Excellent. So we can bring you in this way. One, two, and bring those two onto there. And then we can... Uh, unload them onto the trailer and put the straps on like that and run this little bit around. I don't know how much we got here, actually. We got one full, we got two full pallets. We got roughly three full pallets, looking on that. Roughly three full pallets, about 10,000 litres apiece, and we're looking at 1,000 per 1,000 litres for wool today. That is right, isn't it? 
1,007, yeah. So it's a little, it's, it is a bit lower than we've seen before. We've gone all the way up to almost 1,200, I think. But um, it's it's not too shabby. We, we can live with that. We'll take that bit there right there. And done. So there's another $32,000 right there, which basically means when we go to sell all of our machinery we should be on target to getting everything we want with our uh, um new machinery we want the set of mowers and we want that round baler that's that's the things that we're going to want the round baler has a built-in wrapper so we don't need to worry about having a different wrapper from anywhere else in order to do it let me just unload these and put these back. And then we can go shopping, baby. Shopping. Let's put that one. I'll go forward a bit more, I think. There we go. Nicely done. Back that one up over there. See if I can back this up reasonably. Yeah, that, that, that that's all right. We, we can back it up that far. I'm not going to... I'm not going to go wild trying to back it up. We'll, we'll just do it like that. And eggs over that. I'll tell you what. We've got a load of eggs we could put it. 1900, no, uh, I think eggs go way higher than 1900. I, you know, I honestly can't remember what eggs were on here. Having been away for two weeks, it, it does kind of make me forget a lot of things. Okay, so we're going to be wanting to go to the shop as our next thing that we're going to do. So we're going to be wanting to also have a delivery from the shop brought back this way for things that we want to sell so i need to tab through our machinery now and reset the right things back to the shop bale spike splendor mo that one's got to go yes okay i got the imt the puma that's looking at things over at the shop oh actually i need to reset that hulk back to the shop as well because he's got to drive back the new stuff Okay, so you can go back there, and then I need to go through again. I'm looking for the wrapper, and I'm looking for the bait. There's the baler. Reset that one. Yes. And then I am looking for the wrapper as the last item that we... There he is. Reset that one as well. Yes. Okay. Right, so we've done all of that. That's, that's all reset back to the shop now. Unfortunately, if there was anything in that baler, it will now be gone. The truck can sit there. I need to put everything from here that's got to be taken over onto the selling pad for the shop. But we have run out of time for today's episode, so we're going to do that tomorrow. I know that I'm on one time speed at the moment. That's because I'm still selling stuff. Uh, once I've sold this, we'll actually... Oh, that should just go back to five times speed. Um, we will do the selling of everything in tomorrow's episode at the beginning and then we'll buy our new toys and we'll get them back to the farm and then we can start our respective harvests. So if you've enjoyed this episode then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me, get them to come and watch as well, that would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching, this is Frithgar, goodbye and see you later.